Fan Showdown, Season 7, Episode 3. And as you can see, we're going with a little different setup. Let me know if it sounds better, looks better, is better, or is worse than what we previously do, and we'll make adjustments from here on out. But right out of the gate, we're going to go to QQQ and his fan, Dual Blower. And as you can see, the name is pretty self-explanatory. Q said he was going for a design that maximized airflow while also minimizing noise output. And that's a good idea. For season seven. However, rather than go with the standard push-pull configuration, you know, a fan that's, as he put it, in series one fan in front of the other, he's going for a parallel configuration, meaning he's going to have fans mounted side by side, pushing air through the same side of the air cooler. He said the thought process behind this was to increase the static pressure through the heat sink itself. And given that it's just an air cooler and it should have a relatively low impedance, using a blower fan seemed like the right call. Now, given noise is a weighted metric in season seven of the fan showdown and he's using a blower fan, he knew he was gonna need to employ a few techniques to try to combat any noise generated by this fan. What Q did was he went for a large rotor diameter and it's quite a deep rotor as well. And he's using that to hopefully reduce the rotational speed and thus maintain airflow. He also made sure there's no like cutoffs or weird interferences around the rotor that might create turbulence and excess noise. The blades themselves are swept backwards, which is something we see a lot in blower fans and squirrel cage fans. You, you, you angle the blades backwards and it helps reduce noise quite a bit. And then the intake, the, the tunnel that passes from the rotor to the uh, cooler itself is quite long. And he did that hopefully to help promote laminar flow. So a lot of considerations went into making this dual blower fan style thing. So hopefully with all that logical thinking, this thing is going to be the most efficient possible design for a dual blower setup for this season of the fan showdown. I will admit though, at least the assembly was quite straightforward. I do have a lot of people that don't give me a lot of information with their fans, not what the names came for or anything, but the dual blower came with all the information you could ever want. It even came with a drawing showing how he wanted it assembled, which was very nice. The rotor itself was a two piece, so it printed very easily. There was no like support material for any of this stuff. It just all printed flawlessly. I will say though, even since, or even when I get a fan that's quite goofy and has a lot of support and looks like it'll be a pain to print, now that I got like the H2D, I can print the fans in PLA and then the support material, at least the interface layer with PTG. And that makes everything just so much better. I didn't know how good it could be until I got that dual nozzle setup. Next up, we have just as, which I'm sure is not how it's pronounced, but that is exactly how it reads to me. So just as, and his fan design solar. Now the solar fan is comprised of two pieces. At least the front fan is comprised of two pieces. And you can see that I printed them out in two colors to help differenti differ differentiate between the front side and the back side. And how they should be assembled is that the back fan should be in between the blades of the front fan. And when you line it up like it's supposed to be, and given these are different colors, you can see where that idea for the name came from. It looks like a sun. Now, just as was one of those guys that didn't give me much information on this fan at all. Now, the rear fan is very similar to the front fan. However, it's just one single fan disc rather than two with the offset blades. It's also mirrored, so the the, the airflow is going to be backwards to what you would normally expect through an axial fan. Uh, so we'll see how that works. Now, the only slight issue that I, I can see is that these blade angles are quite steep. They're not 90 degrees, but they're as close as you can get to 90 degrees without being a wall. So I'm expecting it to be quite turbulent. I don't know how much airflow is going to come through it, but I'm interested to see. Our third contender of the day is Juice and his fan Flow. Now, Juice went for the straight up wind tunnel approach is what I would what I would call it. He's not putting a fan on the front of the air cooler or be, well, he is putting a front fan on the front and the back of the air cooler, but he's not letting the air decide which where it's going to go. If it goes through the fan disc, it's going through the air cooler. The flow is designed to completely cover the heat sink and to make sure that, like I said, everything that comes through the fan, it goes through the air cooler with these two little ducts on either side. And as you can see, once they're mounted together once I can figure it out bam there you go it's going through the air cooler it even covers the sides there's no there's no choices that being said there is one there is one choice there's these two little pipes on the intake side and juice said he put those on there to maybe divert a little bit of airflow to the top of the base of the cpu so the top of the heat pipes I don't know how much air is going to actually pass through these little pipes maybe we'll be able to see something in the smoke test maybe not and I don't know how much work it's going to do just blowing on those heat pipes. The fans for this design are pretty standard. Nothing special, just the same fan printed twice in a push-pull configuration mounted on the wind tunnel. They're pretty smooth, I'll give them that, and they're quite sharp. I cut my pinky finger with one of them, and the hub is relatively smooth, so I imagine they're going to function very well as, as fans, so we'll see. The last contender of the day is Dean and his fan 11 wings, and now that I say 11 wings and Dean in the same sentence, I feel like we've seen this before, at least the name and Dean, but maybe, maybe I could be wrong. If you, if you remember, 
past seasons where Dean was in 11 Wings? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, on the face of it, the 11 Wings fan doesn't look too out there. I mean, you got two fans. Essentially, the only difference being is that the blades are mirrored. So this one, one is meant to be on the back and one is meant to be in the front. The weird part is the velocity stack. Now, we've seen velocity stacks used hundreds of times. Essentially, a velocity stack, just like an intake. It's meant to mimic the velocity stacks that went on carburetors on cars back in the day. But Dean... He took a different approach. He went for what he's calling the inverted velocity stack, which is interesting. Now you can see at the bottom, there is a standard kind of intake cone like you would normally see, a little bit of a cutout for clearance, but this inside part over the hub is the inverted velocity stack. And Dean said that is what he imagines the velocity stack to look like if you collapse it down over the hub of the fan. I don't know what that's gonna do. I, I'm highly doubtful that's gonna do anything, but we have never seen that before. In the noise test, the dual blower came in around 55.1 dBA. The solar came in around 51.6. The flow came in around 50.8. And the 11 wings came in around 56.8. Now this actually surprised me because I, in my head, imagined the dual blower to be like the quietest given how big those rotors were and how they weren't gonna spin that fast. But the flow was crazy quiet. But this thing, it, it measured quiet and it, it sounded quiet, which is, sounds obvious, but sometimes things are, they sound quiet, but they, they, they kind of are harsh on the ears and this was not the case. I don't know how well it moves there, but it sounds pretty darn good. In the performance testing, the dual blower had a CPU temperature of 70 degrees Celsius at a room temperature of 20.78 degrees Celsius. The solar produced a CPU temperature of 78 degrees at a room temperature of 20.78. The flow produced a CPU temperature of 71 degrees at a room temperature of 20.78. And the 11 wings produced a CPU temperature of 72 at a room temperature of 20.78. Meaning in first place is flow, in second place is dual blower. The 11 wings came in third and solar finished fourth. Overall, they finished first, second, seventh, and eighth respectively. I will admit designs are starting to get a little more crazy, a little more outside the box. Uh, we got full up wind tunnels. We got in crazy inverted <laughs> velocity stacks that, that doesn't make much sense, but look kind of cool. So things are getting, getting a little bit crazier, which I'm definitely here for. And so if you want to get in on the action of the fan shut up, make sure to go to the description below. There's a lot of information. Specifically, there's a drawing that has critical dimensions you need to maintain to make sure your fan fits on the A12X25 frame. Other than that, you do have to consider an air cooler this time and I, there is a reference model of the air cooler there there's also reference models of just fans to give you a starting point you could say and then remember this is going on a cpu so there's a stick of ram and then there is the ai io shield that have to be considered in your design and then once you get your design complete make sure to send me a dot stl or a dot stp to the fan showdown at gmail.com and we'll see if you can make something better than anybody else until next time